Hello and thanks for checking my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about using the Quad Cortex to run a full acoustic duo. So this last weekend I had two gigs in the same venue, two consecutive ones, one with my acoustic duo and one with my trio. The venue is in central London and I needed to get there with the tube so I had to keep all the gear down to a minimum. The setup for my acoustic duo is normally this pedal board, this audio interface, this stomp and an iPad and plus I have two uh, vocals that I need to run. The duo needs to be completely autonomous with mixing and monitoring. Instead with my trio I use the Quad Cortex just as a modeler and we have a sound engineer. <laughs> So when I had to decide what to bring, I thought that I could do without the HX Stomp and without the audio interface. So for the acoustic gig, the QC has become my mixing desk and effect processor for acoustic guitar, Stomp and the vocals. All right, we going into all to the quad cortex. So everything is connected to the quad cortex. The vocals going there. The guitar and the stuff is in there. This only controls the iPad and then out to the speaker to the monitor and out to the PA. I'm happy to say the QC did not break a sweat and handled everything quite easily. And this is the preset I used. Okay, so this is the preset I use. I have the guitar going input three. I have the stomp in input 2, the vocals in input 1 and 2 and I control everything with hybrid mode. I have my main sound here, then I have like an ambient sound. I have my solo sound. And then I have kind of my And then I can add a phaser if I need to. And my octaver. If I want to do some fake bass. I have an IR loader. Phase, chorus, the boost for the solo is the compressor and the delay comes in for the, for the solo as well. Instead, for the vocals I have a gain block and I have a block with an Eve preamp capture for some coloring. Uh, it doesn't do much but I like it there. And uh, DQ and some reverb. As you can see everything is going out to all outputs. So I'm using the gain block to effectively mix everything in the QC. Everything is sent to all outputs, so I'm mixing in the box, but because the quad cortex has full balanced output, it would be possible to send each instrument out individually for a sound engineer to then mix. I need to do everything in the box, so my solution for monitoring is to assign the master volume or knob only to output 3 and 4. In that way I can easily change the volume of my wedge jet by turning that wheel and front of ours just gets the full volume and the staff can decide what is the level that is correct for the venue. That also means that I don't have responsibility over that and if they decide to turn down the volume I can always be in control of my monitor. This also means that my monitor in front of ours 
get the same exact mix. In this case, it's not a bad thing because that means that whatever I'm listening in my monitor is more or less the same as what the front of us is getting. And using it like this is quite reliable for me. This works great, although I like to complicate my life. <laughs> I do with my duo relies heavily on looping with Loopy Pro. I just connected the quad cortex through the USB port to my iPad. I just use a simple USB A to USB C cable. I then assign all instruments to their own USB outputs, so those will be the respective inputs in Loopy. Now, doing this, I can use Loopy as a looper and also as my mixing desk, and I can have separate mixes for output one and two and three or four. So I'm now in complete control of everything and I don't have to kneel down to do adjustments. So this is my Loopy project. You can see they have my vocals in input 5 and input 6 and then the guitar is input 3 and the stomp is, is input 4. I can now control all the levels. I can control the levels of the loops. The loops are here. I have some sample that I can trigger and then I have my main mix. I can add some reverb from here. You can see here I have some buses and those are my reverb, my monitor 1 and monitor 2. Monitor 2 is assigned to output 3 and 4. Monitor 1 is in assigned to input 3. And if I want to, I can use monitor 2. In monitor 2 I have all my levels I can change and so I can decide what I want to hear. Full disclosure, everything was all right at home, but when I first connected the QC to the iPad at the gig, of course at the gig, something wasn't right. And after restarting both, it was smooth sailing, but I had to restart both the iPad and the QC just to be sure. In spite of my initial doubts, even with the setup, with everything going through loopy, the latency was negligible. And apart from some sounds that I had not checked at soundcheck, everything was fine. One negative thing that I have to say about the quad cortex is that when I initially connected the, my MC6 to the quad cortex using the 5-pin MIDI cable, I realized that the quad cortex doesn't send MIDI through to the USB out, so I had to find a different way to send my MIDI to the iPad. And my solution was to get a WIDI master, and that allows me to connect the MC6 directly to the iPad via Bluetooth. It works great, although there's a little bit of latency that is introduced, and I'm going to talk about that in another video, but it's nothing to worry about, just something to be aware. In conclusion, the Quad Cortex is great for this use. I often feel that the multiple outputs, inputs, and the auto interface capabilities are a bit underestimated. Yes, 
It's a great guitar modeler, but it handles vocals and everything else greatly. And considering that the HX Stomp and the audio interface are worth about £600, that makes the QC even more worth its money. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, remember to like and subscribe down here. And see you for the next one. Bye!